We're located on the south side of Midland. The address is 304 East Florida Avenue. Everybody gets scared of the neighborhood and the outside, but once you come in, you'll love it. You'll love us. It's a small red building with neon signs touting burritos to go, but it also serves as an unexpected portal to the past. Cardboard classic cruisers carry sugar and sweetener packets while vinyls spin from the ceiling. You'd be forgiven if you expected Fonzie to suddenly walk out of the back kitchen, but instead it's Natalie Garcia. Hello, what would you like today? who's helping to keep her family's legacy afloat. In 2011, mom and my grandpa, they decided on making a 50s diner. They wanted to serve coffee and do fun things, something different in this area of the South Side. She passed away in 21. My sister and I continue her legacy. We push, push, push. Um, I mean, this is what she wanted. She wanted us on TV. She wanted, she actually wanted me on uh, the dive, drive, dive in. That's what she wanted. Yeah, she wanted to do that. And she's like, I'm going to be on TV one day. And here you are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is a real family diner. Oh, yeah. Serving all the food that you guys grew up on. Yes, sir. And this is what your mom made at home. Oh, yeah. I try to eat here at least once a week. Uh, the breakfast is unbelievable. I love the environment, I love the people, and I love the food. As you can see, this is great. Breakfast is what gets customers through the door in the morning, and then it's the massive burgers that keep them there. From fluffy pancakes to steak fingers, these dishes have become a must-have here in West Texas. Me being born in the 80s, it kind of takes you back to the nostalgia that you might have missed. You get to relive it, uh, even here in West Texas. When we come in the summertime on, on the weekend, that jukebox is playing those good old, the Motown sound, the classic. It takes you back as if you never left. They say that nothing brings family together quite like a good home-cooked meal. And when you walk through the doors of Addie's Diner, you feel just like one of the gang, even down to Uncle Martin's special ceremony on your birthday. Okay, his name's Martin, and everybody loves him. When it's your birthday, he makes a big O.C. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a birthday in the house. You believe that? He will get this place rowdy just for you. He is so good. The other day, a man said, I'm so full, I can't get up. He brought the dolly out, and he's like, okay, where do I take you? Yes, he's crazy. We love him. I'll bet you that if you're by yourself, alone, this would be a great place to come. Oh, yes, sir. We have customers who come, they're like, oh, I'm sick, or uh-uh, not here. No, you're gonna feel better. And when they walk out, thank you, thank you, and with a smile, that's what we do here. We want you to leave with a smile. What do you think your secret to success is? The secret to success is gonna be our Lord Jesus Christ and my two angels above. Yes, and that's my grandmother and my mother. Yes, sir. They're watching you now? Oh yeah. Actually, I think it's raining outside. Yes. They're here. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I feel like they came in spirit to show us their support. I mean, we are so dry here in Midland. We never get rain. And okay. then today, they knew we were going to be on TV, and what they think, we got to go support our girls. And that's what your mom always said she wanted, was to have this place on television. Oh, yes, sir. And here we are. And we get a rare rainfall in Midland, Texas. Yes, sir. And that tells you what? It's real. It's real. This, it, it just it gives me the goosebumps, actually. It just feels so real. And I know she's here. I can feel her. Mom was our best friend. Mom was mom, dad, and friend. She was everything to us. This is mom's face, and we're carrying on her legacy. So that's why I love it.